Live from ClickOrlando.com, this is News 6 at 5.30. This is a News 6 Plus takeover. Here now is Matt Austin and Ginger Gadston with Florida's 4th Estate. So every year here on Florida's 4th Estate, it's almost like Christmas when it's gator mating season. Yeah. It is the symbol of this beautiful state we call Florida. And we're celebrating this, the beginning of the season. Mating season <laughs> by not becoming a mate. <laughs> I, sh I never know where she's going to take it. I just don't. Glad to have you with us. We are at Gatorland. We oh. are in with the Gators today, and we have a fantastic guest for you to teach us all about them. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gatz. And when we say we are in with the Gators, we're not lying, y'all. We're in with the Gators. But the only way we were able to do that is because we have an expert with us. We're going to bring in Savannah Bone. Come on in, Savannah. Hi. Yes. Hi. Okay. I'm so we, glad to be on your show. Oh. All my oh friends my have God. already done it. <laughs> We wanted yeah. to have you first, but oh, we were just wow. kind of working Umbridge, our way. Oh, Wicks, Carlos, Rice. Saving the best yeah. for last. That's right. Saving That's the it. best for last. <laughs> we are so glad that you are here today. We've learned so much from you. One thing that I've learned is that you are a bad. Oh, thank you. That's well, the, I that's appreciate the first that. Thing I've, I've never heard Ginger sure. say that you before. Have you, have you not seen her in action? I've tonight? watched okay, it. Okay, I yes. don't know. Do you know another word to describe what we saw? I'll oh. take it. Thank you. I'll take that. We'll go with that. Gosh, Thank yeah, you. that Thank might be beeped. So I don't know. I don't think it's okay. <laughs> it describes. Okay, tell me how you even got here. So, always loved wildlife growing up in South Carolina. Always knew that Gatorland was the best alligator and crocodile place in the world. Came here when I was very young. Uh, saw all the alligators, knew I wanted to work here. You know, life kind of takes twists and turns. Ran away to Florida when I was 16 years old because I wanted to be a Cinderella. Oh Didn't work God. out. Literally ran away? Literally on a Greyhound bus with my little 16-year-old oh. backpack thinking I'm going to rule the world. And then, of course, Disney doesn't hire 16-year-old runaways. And <laughs> I was way too God. tall to be Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella my God. short. Oh, good. Okay. So, so, wow. Came back, started applying for Gatorland, applied to work at Gatorland for seven years. Finally got a job, thanks to our great CEO, Mark McHugh, and that was my red carpet moment. That's my I have arrived. Now, most oh, people know you Lord. from the radio. Yes, though. yes, yes. So Monsters you have two jobs right now. Yep, I do. I have multiple jobs all the time, okay. but those are my two main jobs. Those are the big ones. Yes. Which one is scarier? Uh, radio. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I, but I mean, just seeing you out here and doing this, I like what even scares you because you are, if there are times where we have recorded you, you're honestly, I don't mean to invade your space, but here, okay. here's the gator and you're Savannah. Yes. It's like crazy. Well, it, that's only the ones I know. Like wild <laughs> alligators are a whole different animal than the alligators that live here at Gatorland. And we do a lot of training, conditioning, and we spend a lot of time with our alligators. And we also know the ones that love interacting with us. And we also know the ones that do not like it. And the ones that don't like it, we just leave them alone. But the ones that like it, we like to encourage those relationships. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have to confess something. Okay. I've lived in Florida pretty much my whole life. Okay. And Gatorland is my favorite theme park. Woo -woo! I have like a childhood memory of a gator, a big crocodile who was missing an arm, taking all the chickens That's on the Alf. chicken show. That's Alf. Alf. Alf was a big American crocodile that lived at Gatorland and was the boss of the main lake for years and years and years. He was amazing. But I, I do feel like, you know, people talk about Disney and Universal, yes. but this is definitely a place people need to see. Yes, absolutely, 100%. And Gatorland, Gatorland's on its A game, man. We are the pinnacle of alligators and crocodiles in the state of Florida, and not just in the state of Florida. Like, people are coming from all around the world to Gatorland because we are solid in conservation, we take better care of our animals than anything, and we work for a company that allows us to develop relationships with the animals that we care for, which is so important. Family-owned business, 75 years this year, and wow. what an honor. Like, I'm so honored every day that I get to come to work with these amazing dinosaurs. Very and cool. Obviously, you're here for a reason. And, you know, we're talking about conservation yes. and education. Yes. And that is really the top of what you guys Especially do. Especially right now, since yeah. it's breeding season in Florida. Everybody needs to know, like, stay away from the water's edge. Don't take your dogs down yeah. there. Alligators are very active right now, and they're moving. They could be in any body of water. So everybody, if they, you know, just follow the guidelines, be safe, and, like, watch them from afar take your pictures and and then nobody gets hurt and this year it's a little early right the it is it is hot 
<laughs> it got hot really early this it's year. It's getting hot in here. Uh, yeah, and every, every year at this point in the year, we show videos on the news of gators climbing fences yes. or walking across golf yes. courses. Yeah. How does this whole mating thing work? Why are they moving? Why don't they just hook up uh, in their local bar or watering hole? Well, like sometimes normal? they do hook up in their local watering hole, okay. but sometimes the younger alligators in the state of Florida, not the big bulls, but the younger ones, you know, they want to have a girlfriend too. So they might pop into a pond and then the big bull alligator that's been there for 20 years doesn't like that. Go. So he's going to run them out. And when yeah. they run out, they're just running. They're not thinking, uh, oh, well, don't let me go over to Dan's pond. Let me go over to Jake's. Like yeah. they're just going to whichever pond they can find and going through the canals, like underneath the water through, you know, sewer mm -hmm. pipes and things like that. So yeah. everybody just needs to be Self-awareness is something that I think is lost in the world right now. Agreed. Just be aware yeah. of your surroundings everywhere you are. Yeah, everybody wants that perfect social media picture, yes. though, and sadly, sometimes that can end up as our news Absolutely. item of the day. Absolutely. I know, and I know. I see that. it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is it? Mating season, what does that look and sound like in So Florida? it sounds like big, huge bellows, like, like dinosaur roars. Like roar. what? Let's what hear it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't do a good bellow. If you had a bellow on this show before, <laughs> you might be in second place. <laughs> that's when that's when the big male alligators are sucking in all that air and they're puffing themselves up to show off. You know, like guys at a bar when it's late at night and you know they're yeah. all puffed up. And oh they, yeah. And yeah. then they're totally. they're uh, the water dances on the back and like you know they're just they just want all the ladies. So the bigger they are, the more ladies are coming around them and like it's a beautiful time to be in the state of Florida. Like. The wading birds are my, like not, the migratory birds are yeah. here. They're building nests. They always build their nests over where alligators are. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? So the raccoons can't climb up in the trees because the raccoon's not going to fight a bunch of alligators oh, to get an egg. Oh, smart. Yeah. So if it weren't for the, if you're a bird lover and you don't love alligators, you got to love alligators because they keep the birds here. Ah, that is very smart. That and you, smart. so you guys have a big breeding marsh here. We do. Does it get weird? Do things get different this time of year? It definitely does. It gets weird. <laughs> He's asking the kinky questions about gators. Yeah. What is wrong with That's you? what I kind of, okay, so I was talking to my wife before all this. Okay. Okay, and we might have to bleep this out. Okay. But how does it work logistically? You're a dad of three. No, I know, uh, but, I mean, <laughs> but there's not a giant tail there. Basically what happens, it's very romantic. I like how she's been loud this whole time, now she's kind of whispering. Boy gator, yeah. girl kind gator. Kind of like a ballet. Right? A, ba a ballet, okay. Ballet, okay. So the females get to make the decisions, just like in real life. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. So the, the male alligator will, will, you know, kind of find a girl that he likes. He'll start blowing a little bit of bubbles. If she seems like oh. she's interested in those bubbles, she might come over. Oh. She might bubble him oh. too. Oh, the bubbles. They might rub each other's faces because they have these sensors on their faces that are like a hundred times more sensitive than your fingertips. I think gators like, are the wild doing this. So they'll like <laughs> rub each other's faces. Wow, you're kind of painting a picture here. <laughs> they'll like make some great noise. Like they'll cross their heads like this. Um, and then, you know, once the female decides, okay, like this is, this, you know, and they this go is my through, guy. They have multiple partners, but uh -oh. some oh. of them Swingers. favor one over the years. <laughs> so, uh, so they'll they'll find somebody that they like, like another alligator that they like, or crocodile, and then and you know they'll just kind of stay together. Now, if if you want to know how it actually works, it's a little bit awkward looking, yep. but basically. <laughs> I, Basically, yeah. the female is here, the male comes here, sometimes she puts her head under, sometimes not. Sometimes water or land? In the water. Okay. okay. And then he kind of sli <laughs> slides to whichever side that he With favors. His preference. Yeah. Okay. And then they kind of lock up, and then, you know, sometimes they'll spew a little water out in excitement. And like our Nile crocodiles, especially, they get super excited. Oh and my God. Those Niles like, are kinky. Uh, okay. Yeah, they are. I <laughs> feel like they do. They have OnlyFans pages? Um, No, there's not. They might have their but you, know what? Stuff you never, ever oh know. Oh my gosh. And okay. I have amazing like videos I can share with you guys that you can show this happening. Is so it you don't safe have to see for what? work? Um, I think so, because it's nature, right? Yeah, okay. It's nature. Yeah, okay. That's what you tell the bosses. That's the one thing that really surprised me is like you know you see lots of crocodiles and alligators here I was told the way you can tell the difference between them is one will see you in a while and one will see you later yes is that right absolutely no but really like the crocodiles heads are more pointed yes like a V 
The alligator's heads are more rounded like a U. Yes. Um, and so the eyes, the right? the easiest way, yeah. And the eyes a little bit, but like the easiest way you can tell is the round and the V. Well, uh, there was a big crowd watching us behind the <laughs> I camera. I think they left when we as started talking. As soon as we started talking about the hookup, <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, let's kids. get the kids they out of it. here. Like, <laughs> Don't want to explain that one. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the five craziest facts about alligators and crocodiles that you probably don't know about. Crazier than what you already heard, so stay with us. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Florida Sports Estate, everyone. We still got all of our fingers and our toes and everything. We're here at Gatorland having the best time. <laughs> that was not <laughs> accurate. I, yeah, no, I actually, <laughs> that is not trying accurate. to mess around with the <laughs> alligators. We're having fun. We have Savannah oh, and, with Gatorland. A lot happened in the commercial break. Oh, my gosh. There was a bellow. Know. We were talking about the gator bellow. There was some Barry White playing. It was super weird. It's mating season at Gatorland. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. But we're going to oh bring gosh. you the five facts about these fascinating creatures yes. that you maybe yeah. probably didn't know before all this. There's so probably a hundred facts, but you can give, give us the five best. Is. Alligators are naturally afraid of human beings. They're not trying to get you. They're not trying to come after you everywhere you go. They're naturally afraid of human beings. Okay. The only time that they're not is when people in the state of Florida feed them illegally or uh, people come from out of the state of Florida and feed them illegally. That is when they start to approach your humans. Fault. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's why I don't do this. So we've been with stories. you all day. <laughs> And we've seen you feeding gators. We've seen, it almost appears, I saw you specifically with a big one named Kyle, yes. who has a human name, Kyle. It's super strange, but he was really cool. He's, Kyle's cool. And chill. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, so it didn't seem like he was afraid of you. So because you feed him and he knows you, he's not right. afraid. Right, when they lose their fear of humans, that's when they start to approach people, that's when they start to approach pets. That's mm -hmm. when all of those yeah. horrible stories that we hear in Florida happen. Big Kyle, come here, Kyle. Come on. And you call them, he knows his name. Yes, they're very much smarter than we could ever imagine. Oh, and that's why we have the stories we have because we underestimate them. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay, fact number two. Peter. So, fact number two. Alligator moms are wonderful mothers. Way better than bird mamas. Oh. So, alligator moms protect their entire nest. They will defend it at any cost. So if you see a big mound of anything anywhere in the state of Florida, don't go near it. And if you see baby hatchling alligators, sometimes they will protect them for up to a year and sometimes even uh, more. Yeah. Do not grab baby hatchling alligators. They're going to make a noise like this. Ow, ow, ow. And that's them calling their mama. And when their mama gets there, that's when the trouble that's when starts. That's when you don't want to be there. Mama show. Exactly Mama's right. feisty. Okay, and so when you're, that was the thing that I learned today. I thought they guarded their nests uh -huh. when they were eggs, and then once these things hatched, they were like, bye, good yeah. luck in the world. But they actually guard Some them for- Some of them might. I mean, each individual alligator is different, but mostly they protect them for a while okay. until they can get big enough to catch their own little bugs and fish and things like that. Yeah, because when they're tiny, a bird is gonna snatch bird, them. Bird, yeah. fish, bass, like nothing. Burmese python, anything oh can eat God. a baby alligator. Yeah. Yeah. Fact number three, alligators and crocodiles can go through over 2,000 teeth in a lifetime. So you know how we have like the baby teeth and then we get adult teeth? Yeah. So they have dentures. baby teeth, yeah. adult teeth, and then they keep on growing teeth. So every time <laughs> oh they lose gosh. a tooth, they grow a new tooth in. Okay. What? Yeah. They're like sharks. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh my gosh. But, but just like us, when they get old, they start to lose them. Because we met a guy named Bone Crusher uh -huh. over here who was... He in his seventies, he was talking like this, <laughs> and he told us to get off his lawn. And he only has a few teeth left. Yes. So, yes, Bone Crusher has three teeth, and and we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna tooth shame him. He's, so he's, he's, he's a bit of a hillbilly. Oh my God, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get he's him another one. He's a Florida croc. What do you expect? Maybe he's gonna do some damage though. And, and I said, I was like, oh good, I I feel safe around no, this one. But he could still break absolutely every absolutely break every bone in your arm, leg, anything like that, yeah. and. The pressure is about 2,500 pounds. So even without those teeth, he could grab your arm, hold on to it so tightly that he could drag you under and drown you. Okay, here's a question for you. Matt, listen closely. Matt said that he is, if he's ever attacked by a gator. No, no you're explaining this the wrong gonna way. He's going to offer it Hold on. Arm. No, no, no. There's a situation. No, no, no. There's a situation. <laughs> Behind the camera. Okay. <laughs> Say, so, hold on. You're not explaining it correctly. I think I did. Okay, I'm saying I if you're in the water, uh -huh. say you're treading water, okay, yeah. and Kyle is coming at you, uh -huh. 
he's gonna he's gonna bite you. So I'm saying, specifically if you're treading water, you stick the arm out, you let him take the arm and tear it off. And then you might be able to. I mean, escape. I'm glad you're able to think that through. Like, I don't know that I would be able to in the moment if I ever got bit by an alligator. But what we always say is fight, 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 fight. Poke them in the nose, poke them in the eyes, poke them in the ear slots. Like, Give them your arms. fight, fight, fight as much as you can because they don't have a lot of stamina, right? Uh -huh. And so they're not gonna, they're not gonna continue. Like, if they can get you under, you're done. So just fight as hard as you can. Like, do everything in your power to continue to fight that animal and with any hope that it'll just give up. And the nose is the sensitive part. Nose, right? so, eyes. So once you sacrifice your left arm, if you're a righty, <laughs> then you... I'm saying don't sacrifice right. anything. I'm saying yeah. fight. I'm I trying to want, get you to come I, to I my just, side. I just want on camera right now credit for possibly saving his life in the yes. future. Yes. Okay. okay. In case okay, I'm so, ever in the scenario. So when the story comes out, I want you to be like, well, thanks to Savannah Gator Lamb for saving my life. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm dead and I can't defend myself because I didn't give him my We're arm. We're just going to roll this clip. <laughs> It's a funeral. I'm not, how do you think the podcast is going to go? And here we go. <laughs> right. Oh my god. This is okay, why. That's good. All right. So fact number four. Fact number four, and I'll be a little sciencey with you guys right okay. now. Oh, good. So, um, so alligators have something in their eyes called a tapetum lucidum. So in the back of alligator eyes and some other animals in nature, there are crystal. There are crystals, and those crystals collect light. So at nighttime, if you're gonna go out at night or you're gonna fish at night or you're gonna go out in a boat at night or any of those kinds of things, if you shine the water with a flashlight and you see something red looking back at you, that's an alligator. That And that's how people hunt for them, right? Well, that's how people hunt for them, but that's also how people can stay safe from them. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Uh, if you see those red light, and it's red, right? Because mm -hmm. the spiders are kind of sparkly, white looking. Yeah. But if you see red shining back at you, that's an that's alligator, or in the state of Florida, see? a crocodile or a caiman, it could be anything. So just pay attention to your surroundings. Again, mm -hmm. body awareness, like where you are. And uh, but we I love being on lakes. Yeah, you know? it's so, great. Yeah. It's always so much fun. And Florida has so much of that to offer. But, yeah. you know, just be aware. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking your flashlight and just shining it around. Correct. You shine it around here, it looks like Christmas time every night. <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> helped save the American alligator in the state of Florida. Back in the early 80s when the alligator population was at its lowest, Gatorland worked with the University of Florida and they did an artificial insemination of the first American alligator. What? Yep. Okay. Now alligator Talk numbers about are how good. things work. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that job. Well, it would work the same way that like it would work if you did it to like um, I mean, is there like a cows? turkey baster involved? Okay. What um, Cookie, turkey baster. <laughs> this is a family show. She was all. That's science. -y. She was all like am ballet. I, am I Will you let like, her describe okay. it? I mean, you're not that far off. It's probably called something else very science -y, but yeah. So, uh, okay. so that happened. And uh, Gatorland has an amazing conservation program. We save alligators every day. Some of the alligators are behind us right now have come to us this year. They were yeah. nuisance alligators, deemed nuisances. And the trappers in the state of Florida work very wonderfully with us in bringing those anima animals to us instead of them being euthanized or sold to a hunting camp or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you're out there, there's a nuisance alligator, and make sure it's a nuisance because every alligator is not a nuisance alligator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've learned that earlier this year because we've taken in more this year than we ever have before. So um, every alligator is not a nuisance alligator. If it's not approaching you, if it's just swimming away, doing its own thing, let it do its own thing. It yeah. deserves yeah. to be there. Yeah. It's not that alligator's fault that you guys decided to build a gigantic subdivision in the middle of its home. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, yeah. but we we, uh, we do have a program where we can take in some of these nuisance alligators. Yeah. So uh, everybody that knows that, like we can't go catch them because people call us to come get them all the time. Mm. We can't do that. Only FWC can assign a trapper to do that. But the trapper's more than willing to work with us. We'd love to have them here. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to bust one big myth for us because I heard our producer say it while we were here. Like, Don't no. run zigzag! Thank Don't you. run zigzag! Thank you! So alligators eat from left to right. So if you're running zigzag, <laughs> That's exactly where the mouth is. Run straight away. Who started this? Some, trip. An alligator? A trip, Matt Austin. He's he's like, slower than I know you. what we'll do. <laughs> he's like, so. let's create a meme in a YouTube channel that says run zigzag and we'll away, get him. Straight away, straight away. That's oh, how you get away from him. This has been so not just fun but informative mm -hmm. and I hope that people watch it and want to come here because this is my first time I am not a lifelong Floridian like Matt and he comes here many many times I said I wouldn't bring my family here because I was terrified no, I, I, 
now I want to bring she my whole family. She did say that. Oh, yeah, you but have now, to. I'm saying, I want to okay. bring my whole family. I posted video of my seven-year-old feeding a gator, uh -huh. hand feeding, which you can do here uh, very reasonably. Uh, my wife still isn't talking to me, but uh, <laughs> but I showed her that video and she was like, you're insane. But today we were inside yeah, feeding we were gators we were and it. you felt safe because they know what they're doing. She's an expert. That's yeah. right. Don't That's feed wild alligators. Don't if you want to feed home. alligators, come to Gatorland. Yeah. You got to do it Best right here. Land. Savannah Bone. I thank love you, so you guys. Much. I you really awesome. love you. And thank you for watching Florida's Fourth Estate. You can download it from wherever you listen to podcasts or watch anytime on News 6 Plus.